Breaking news, we have another coach firing in the NFL. The Titans firing Mike Vrabel after six seasons. Took the job in 2018, led the Titans to four consecutive winning seasons, including Coach of the Year honors back in 21, but losing seasons back-to-back finishing this season by knocking the Jags out of the playoffs. That is his last act as Titans head coach. So now six teams looking for new head coaches, although the Raiders may have already found theirs in Antonio Pierce, the interim head coach, but the Titans added to this list, including the Falcons, Chargers, Panthers, Commanders, and the aforementioned Raiders. Let's get Jonathan Jones in here who has confirmed this news. JJ, how did the Titans come to this decision? So, Chris, I'm told that Mike Vrabel and the owner of the Tennessee Titans, Amy Adams Strunk, had not met uh, by the start of this morning. So, obviously, that meeting has since taken place, that end of season, year end meeting, and of course, uh, ultimately determining that Mike Vrabel would no longer be the head coach of the Tennessee Titans. So, how did we get here where just a couple of seasons ago he was the NFL coach of the year? Well, look, I was told late last night that things were getting a little weird in Tennessee and that uh, there was some anticipation that he could be fired. Now, I know a lot of people have talked about the rumors, and I'm sure, Chris, you and I are going to get into it, about Mike Vrabel maybe going to the New England Patriots and being traded there and whatnot. Uh, I had been told, and obviously is now evidenced by the fact that he has been fired, that he would be more, far more likely to be fired than resign, than be traded, uh, or anything like that. And so we have seen that play out. You may ask why. And of course you'll ask why, because yes, the last two seasons have not gone that well, but of course we talked about it earlier, how many playoff appearances consecutively he had in the AFC South. I would point you no further than the move they made at general manager at the end of last year by firing John Robinson in his first losing season as general manager. The owner there, Amy Adams Strunk, she simply didn't believe that John Robinson could get them to a Super Bowl. And so she made the move because what she is about with this organization is winning championships. And so uh, I can only assume that she made the same determination about a coach that I believe is coveted around the league. I won't at all be surprised if Mike Vrabel gets two, three, four head coach interviews at some of these open spots. I certainly won't be surprised if he lands at some of those spots. And one could argue maybe they should have held on to Mike Vrabel to try to trade him and get some sort of compensation for him. I understand that. However, if in reality you do that, you are putting yourself behind the eight ball because now you have to wait until you can execute that trade before you can pursue your own head coach. And you're putting the lives of the entire coaching staff sort of up in the air and in purgatory until that is figured out. And so it is clear that Amy Adams Strunk has determined that no matter what, Mike Vrabel wasn't going to be back in 24. Maybe I could get something for him. Maybe I couldn't out there on the market, but it's not about that. It's not about a second or a third round pick for Mike Vrabel uh, to trade him. It is about what is best for the Tennessee Titans moving forward. And what is best for them is finding the coach that can lead them to the Super Bowl uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah. And and uh, you mentioned Amy Adams Strunk. She just released a statement. The Titans controlling owner in part. She says the decision was as difficult as any I have ever made as controlling owner. I appreciate Mike's contributions to the Titans. So uh, let's talk Mike Vrabel moving forward. How hot of a commodity is he going to be in this cycle? I think he's going to be a very hot commodity. I would put him on a tier one list. Uh, of coaching candidates. I think that you could consider him right up there with Ben Johnson, who is going to be a first-time head coach, offensive coordinator of the Detroit Lions, and has, I think, three head coach slips right now, slips meaning interview requests. Uh, I think you can certainly put him up there with uh, uh, Bill Belichick, who I believe will get a head coaching job if New England and he ultimately part ways. We see right there 2021 uh, coach of the year. And look, it was nine and seven, nine and seven, and then uh, 11 and five, 12 and five before the 2022 season when things began to fall apart. And I think things fell apart for the Tennessee Titans uh, in part because of the miscues in the draft. 
and in free agency. And John Robinson, of course, had a major hand in that, and that is why he was relieved of his duties as general manager. But make no mistake, Mike Vrabel isn't just a guy who says, okay, uh, give me the ingredients and I'll just cook the meal. He had a hand in some of those things, and I know that the owner also knows that. And so it is not just simply, hey, a little bit of a down year, probably a rebuild, even if you don't want to call it that, why would you fire the coach who was just the coach of the year uh, a drop in the bucket ago? It's because he was also involved in some of those personnel matters. And Chris, lastly, what I would want to say is I don't get the idea that this was any sort of power struggle. I know there were a lot of rumors out there that there was uh, power struggles and issues between Mike Vrabel and general manager Rand Carthon, who is just completing his first season there in Tennessee. I have not gotten any indication of that throughout this year. If Mike Vrabel's a little stubborn or hard-headed, everybody knows that, but he's still a hell of a coach that, uh, as far as I could tell, coaches there that I speak to told me that he had been saying he wanted to stay. Folks there really enjoyed working with him. No power struggle there in Tennessee. This was a decision by the owner. Coach of the year in 21, started 22-7-3, but then lost the last seven games last season and this season 6-11 and record. That's it for Mike Vrabel, fired by the Titans today, confirmed by our Jonathan Jones. That makes six head coaching openings in the NFL at this point. CBS this weekend, we've got the Bills hosting the Steelers, 1 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday, Super Wild Card weekend, also streaming live on Paramount+. Plus.